The reason why, we've got recon going out there for today. Uh, that's important because we want to see this plane get in there and get us actual data, see what it looks like. That data that they get when they go in there goes into the computer models that we show you, those spaghetti plots, right, all those lines, and that helps us get a better resolution, a better result of what that model thinks it's going to do. Now, this is important because you'll see it right near the end. That's the center right there. Look at all the convection over here. There's wind shear blowing in from the south and the west, and that will continue to happen, I think, for next several days or so. Here's the latest 5 p.m. update from the Hurricane Center. It went from 50 mile per hour winds up to 60 mile per hour winds. It goes to 60 tomorrow. They were thinking about 60 to 65 coming through the Leeward Islands towards Puerto Rico. They're keeping it at 60 now, but then trying to increase it near Puerto Rico, the center maybe just south of the island. But you don't really want that. The north side of the center will see the worst weather. And then you can see it cutting across eastern Hispaniola and starting that turn. That would be great. But as it does so, it does look like there's plenty of warm water here. The shear will lighten up at least initially. I think there'll be more shear up here. But that will allow it to get a little bit more strength and go up to about 70 miles per hour. The main concern right now for the Leeward Islands and Puerto Rico is basically now through Sunday night. All right. So Focus on the colors here. That's the probability of seeing tropical storm force winds. What are the chances, right? Obviously very high for the Leeward Islands. When will those winds arrive? Well, most likely timing for the Leeward Islands is 8 p.m. on Friday. Saturday morning, 8 a.m., getting a little bit later than that for the British Virgin Islands, the U.S. Virgin Islands. Puerto Rico would be Saturday night at 8 p.m. on the east end of the island, and winds going up weather going downhill overnight, Saturday night and Sunday, and then the Dominican Republic would be Sunday afternoon into the evening hours. Love that graphic from the Hurricane Center. Really helps you plan if you live in one of those areas. You know when you need to get your stuff done by, right? Now, here are the forecast models, and yes, most of them do turn the storm to the north. The latest European model keeps it very weak down in here and then brings it right up over Florida. It's a long way out, too. It's almost a week, week and a half out at that time. The GFS ensembles, this is the GFS model run a bunch of different times. They think it does get some kind of intensity, and it turns to the north. The more organized it is, the better chance it will turn. The weaker it is, the better chance it will come off to the west. So even if it does end up close to Florida, which will be the end of next week, if, right, that's a long way out, it would likely be a weaker system. That's what would allow it to get here. So I'll keep an eye on it for you. I'm not worried about it right now. I'll let you know when I am, but right now I'm not worried about it.